everyone, my name is Abby Andrew and welcome back to the Renee of Paris YouTube channel. I'm the alopecia ambassador for the channel, which means I discuss wig topics from the perspective of someone who has dealt with hair loss for most of their life. I lost my hair when I was about two years old and I've been wearing wigs consistently since about the age of seven. So many of the questions that you may have about your wigs, I have definitely encountered at some point in my life as well. And I would love to be able to help you all with your same questions. And I'd love to be able to share my experience to help you out with your wig journey as well. A big question I get a lot is, can you work out in your wigs? And the simple answer to that question is yes, but in this video I'm also going to give you some tips on how to work out in your wigs without damaging your wigs and without being uncomfortable. So the first thing that I would suggest you ask yourself if you want to work out in your wig is two main things. The first is, are you going to be doing an activity that requires you uh, to sweat a lot? Is it like really intense cardio? Or is it just a light workout? For example, sometimes I go to the park and I go roller skating and when I do this I don't really think twice about the wigs that I wear because any wig will do because in that case I'm not really working up a sweat so it doesn't really matter what wig I'm wearing. The other question that I would suggest you ask yourself is how secure does the wig need to be on your head? Is it an exercise that might cause your wig to fall off or you might be afraid your wig would fall off or is it something that you don't really have to worry about that? So just to quickly address that second question about how secure the wig is, if the wig fits you properly, then you probably shouldn't have to worry about your wig falling off unless you're going to be going upside down a lot in a certain activity. However, I've literally done cartwheels in my wigs and felt like they were very secure and not at risk of falling off. So if a wig fits you properly, you shouldn't have to worry about it falling off. All of our native Paris wig caps are adjustable, so if your wig doesn't feel like it's secure, be sure to check the straps on the back of the wig. Most of the wig caps have adjustments here on the nape of the neck, so if the wig feels a bit loose, you can just go ahead and tighten those a bit and see how that feels. One thing to consider when deciding whether to work out in your wig is the length of the wig. If you're wearing a longer wig, one suggestion you might want to do is to tie back your wig just like you would your usual hair. So right now I am wearing the wig Hayden from the Amour collection in the color Rose Gold R. So with the hair tied back like that, it's out of your face so you don't have to worry about it getting in your wig while you're exercising. And typically most exercises shouldn't cause damage to your wigs. One thing that might happen is perhaps you'll sweat a bit more so maybe you'll have to wash your wig a bit more often. But for the most part, it's not going to damage your wig more than any other activity will. Personally, when I'm exercising, I prefer to wear shorter wigs because that way I can just wear them down, not have to tie them back, but it's still short enough that it's not in my face. So here's an example of a wig that I might work out in. This is my Cody from the Amore Collection. So this wig is Cody from the Amore Collection in Creamy Blonde, and because it is a shorter style, I don't have to tie it back to work out. It's still pretty much out of my face because of the length. Another tip that I personally use when I'm working out in my wigs is if you are someone that wears wigs daily, especially if you're someone that wears the same hairstyle every single day, with synthetic wigs, eventually you're going to replace the wig once it gets to the end of its lifespan. Synthetic wigs tend to last about four to six months of daily wear. So once you replace that wig, if you're replacing it with the same wig, don't get rid of the old one necessarily. If it's still in pretty good shape, you can use that as your dedicated workout wig. And that's something that I do because I'll tend to have an older version of a style that I wear a lot and that will just be kind of become my workout wig. This is especially great because that way you don't have to find yourself working out in your brand new favorite wig. You can save one of your older wigs to kind of take the brunt of that damage if you are working out and sweating a lot. That way, that can just be the wig you work up a sweat in so you don't have to wash your brand new beautiful wig as often. That could just kind of be the one that you wear a little bit more casually. So for example, a wig style that I have worn a lot throughout my lifetime is the Tatum from the Amore Collection. This is a style that I have probably owned dozens of at this point. So I have had multiple Tatum wigs that have just been a little bit older that I didn't know what else to do with that have become my workout wig. Now this particular Tatum is a few months old at this point, but it's not quite at the end of its lifespan. However, once this wig starts to get to the end of its lifespan, this can become my workout wig. If you are using an older wig as a workout wig and you feel like the hair is too damaged to really wear out much, it isn't the case with this one yet, but let's say you're working with a wig that is a bit more damaged. Instead of putting it in a ponytail, another great option is to put it in a bun because that way people can't really see the condition that the hair is in. It's just tied back behind your head. No one's going to be looking at it too closely, but it will still work perfectly as a workout wig. 
I also have a video on this channel that I made about how to tell when it's time to replace your synthetic wig. So if you are curious to know when that is, then you can go ahead and check out that video. Now, typically when I exercise, I personally feel like I'm very comfortable wearing a full wig and that works perfectly for me. I don't feel like it makes me extra sweaty or uncomfortable when I'm exercising and they always feel quite secure on my head. However, if you feel like you're someone that might get a little bit more sweaty or hot when you're working out and you feel like a full wig wouldn't be comfortable for you, another great tip you can do is to use a halo wig. Now a halo wig is a wig that is just around the sides of your head and not on the top, so there's no wig cap on the top. Now you might be wondering, Abby, how can I wear that if I have no hair at all? Well, let me show you by trying it on myself. So I also have no hair either, I'm completely bald, except for maybe some patches here and there. You can put this on your head and have really just open air on your scalp so it's very, very breathable and a little bit cooler if you are someone that gets a little bit overheated when you're working out. And then you can wear a comfortable hat on top, maybe a beanie or a baseball cap to wear on top of your head so it's maybe a little bit more comfortable for you. So this is the Wavy Bob Halo from Renee of Paris in the color Honey Brown. And this also has removable bangs, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bangs. That is a great option for if you do want to wear the bangs. <laughs> and then you can just go ahead and wear a hat on top of that. This is one of the Christine Headwear turbans. Absolutely beautiful and very comfortable and breathable on your head. And it's just a really cute look. And you can even take it a step further and tie back the hair that is there so it maybe looks a little bit more natural to work out in if it's in a ponytail. But that way it still gives the appearance of having hair underneath the hat that you're wearing with the hair peeking out in the back. And it's also very comfortable and very breathable. And you can also do the same with a baseball cap. Whatever you feel most comfortable working out in. I hope these tips were helpful to you all. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful to you, and don't forget to subscribe to the Renee of Paris YouTube channel for more wig tips and tutorials. You can also find us on Instagram, at Renee of Paris, for more videos and photographs and other fantastic wig advice and content. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.